Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll look at the event reactive function in Shiny and see how to use it with an example use case. Use case here is to subset a given data set basis the user input selected and display the subset data after the click of action button. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For demo purpose, I'm going to use empty cars data set. User input widgets include a slider widget to select the range of miles per gallon. We also have a radio button uh, widget to select the number of cylinders. By default, the miles per gallon range and the number of cylinders are selected. Expectation is to subset data on click of this button and the resultant subset data is displayed here in the table. Event reactive function works pretty much like a reactive function but gets triggered by an event. In the context of this use case, it would look like say event reactive click of a button which is nothing but the trigger and then subset the data basis user inputs and we can assign this to an object say filter finally the approach would be to use this filter object inside a render table to display the table let's get to our studio for implementation i'm using the single file shiny app in the UI section, we have already defined the UI elements note the input IDs of these widgets and we are going to use the, them in the server doc, in the server section. In the server section, let's begin with event reactive function. The first argument is event expression. Define the event expression as input ID of action button. The second argument is value expression. This is where the calculation or the recalculation will happen. And this is where we will write the data subset code lines. Assign this to a reactive object called filter. So each time button is clicked, subsetting will happen and the result will be stored in the filter object. Now let's write the code for render table and we are going to use this filter object inside this render table for display. Let's run the app. Okay. No data shows up yet. Let's change the input and click the action button. We can now see the table. Looks good. How about if I want to display the table when the app launches with the pre-selected values in the input widget? Well, there is an argument ignore null. We'll set this as false and rerun the app. Now we can see the table shows up when the app launches and when the user changes the input and clicks on the action button, the subset data is displayed accordingly. Before we end, how would you implement this use case using observe event function? Think of it and share your thoughts in the comment section. Hope this video was useful. Link to the GitHub code is mentioned in the description section. Thanks for watching.